Highway 1 through Rogers Pass, a tiny thread of highway and railway that links Western Canada to Central Canada. Passing through Canada's toughest and most unforgiving landscape, the Selkirk Mountains. The highway rises to over 4,500 feet, winding its way through the valleys steeply flanked by mountains over 9,500 feet in elevation. With an average snowfall of over 10 meters, the area is plagued with debris flows in the warmer months and avalanches in the winter, burying sections of highway and railway completely. Given the uniquely difficult terrain, extreme weather patterns, and isolated nature of the mountain pass, it requires more than just great equipment to take on a project up here. It takes one heck of a company. Beaver Valley in Glacier National Park out here with McKay. I'm going to check out the site, see what they're doing. Uh, just for anybody that uh, is curious about the drone, we weren't filming with the drone in the National Park. We filmed between Glacier National Park and Revelstoke National Park in the snow sheds and then also on the uh, other side of Revelstoke and Monashie Pass. So don't break the rules guys, stick to it. So anyways, going to get set up here and get ready to go. It's going to be a great day. So. here behind my big bulbous head is uh, a slide path for uh, avalanches in the winter and debris flows in the summer so when it comes down they want to protect the highway so they've got a catchment basin and uh, McKay just completed work on that digging it out from years of accumulation of debris that's everything from rocks snow uh, trees anything that can come down that mountain it's pretty much ended up down here so they dug it out and they're using that material elsewhere uh, as a fill. So as you can see right in behind me here is the uh, catchment basin. So it comes down off that slope and it splits into two and this is the one way it can go. And so there's a series of deep pools um, that are buttressed by uh, rock walls. So the water and anything can filter out and continue to run on. But uh, silt, uh, dirt, rock, trees, anything else, snow, anything that comes down here is caught in these catchment basins. And so it keeps the highway open year round. Uh, keeps people safe, which is the big one, and provides a source of material for any projects that Parks Canada takes on in the area.
Hopefully McKay's got their D6R and 336. So what they're doing is loading out all this material that's coming down off the mountain. They're doing their best to sort out the big rocks, uh, the trees, any material that's not good to fill. And they're taking that and using that as a slope fill just down the highway here. And to bring a section up so it can accommodate two more lanes of traffic and also shore up, shore up the slope with good material. Turn across the road here. Okay, go ahead and cross. Okay. So they actually have to dig up the road or no? Yeah, they got to dig up the road, yeah. They put some great big huge culverts in. You can see, this is some of the pipe they're putting in. It's pretty serious stuff. I'm a pretty big dude, but it's got to be at least four or five feet in diameter. It may look a little weird. It looks like the bottom's a little flat. It looks like it's kind of squished. That's on purpose. The bottom's meant for fish, so it needs to be flat to uh, promote gravel to settle in here so fish can uh, come up and it feel natural so they can spawn if they wish. But uh, yeah, pretty serious projects out here. These guys don't mess around. So we go check out where this pipe's going and then we're going to uh, see where they're hauling and just take in some of the views around here because it's absolutely, absolutely spectacular. Behind me here is McKay's 470 Attache and what he's doing he's trimming this slope up here getting this whole area ready for uh, the four lane expansion that's going in and uh, what that is is it's going to be a four lane of uh, highway for staging for all the vehicles when they're doing avalanche mitigation and control up on the uh, mountain pass they want some for people to get off the main road and to wait until the uh, dangers clear up on the pass so he's doing that and then on this side of me here we got uh, a couple of excavators and a wheel loader putting in a new culvert. They're really just extending it so they can add that four section, uh, or sorry, four lanes of highway. So it's a pretty exciting project, but uh, a whole lot is going on here. So the sun just came out and it's going to be a nice day. So. Well, we are up here at McKay's uh, site up on Rogers Pass. It's our last stop for the day. They're building an avalanche berm up here, so it's quite the ordeal. There's a lot of engineering that goes into it, a lot of specifications that need to be met, but they got a couple D6s and a couple rock trucks going round and round, and this scenery is just 
Honestly, it's just breathtaking. Every time I come up here, it's a new experience and a new uh, new sight to see. So Glacier National Park is definitely beautiful, and these guys are super fortunate to be working here. So.